Meet the Leonberger. Can I ride him? That's often the first question a kid will ask when meeting a Leonberger. And the answer is no, it's never a good idea to let a child ride on a dog's back, even when the dog is as big and strong as a Leo. A good-sized male can stand over 31 inches at the shoulder and weigh as much as a full-grown human. Females run smaller, but are still immense. Aside from the imposing frame, breed hallmarks include a medium-long, waterproof coat with lush, triangular ears, a bushy tail, and a black face mask that frames dark brown eyes that project a kindly expression. A well-built Leo moves with an easy, elastic gait. Unique among the big guys of the AKC working group, Leos were developed first and foremost as companions. The breed was the brainchild of Heinrich Essig, a 19th century politician and entrepreneur of Leonberg, Germany. Utilizing St. Bernard's and Newfoundland's, among other large working breeds, Essex's goal was to create a majestic pet for European royalty. Truly a dog fit for a king. His clients included Napoleon III, Tsar Alexander II, and the Prince of Wales, later King Edward VII. Leonbergers are social. I would say that's the biggest word, uh, to, best word to describe a Leonberger, and that is really what I like about them. When you have visitors coming, they're really not a guard dog. They might bark a bit, but they're there at the front door to greet whoever is coming in the door. I enjoy the fact that they love people. They're very good with children. They're just an all-around great family pet. Leos relish the role of household companion. They don't seem to know how big they are and will try to curl up in your lap. It bears repeating that these sensitive giants were bred primarily as companions. They can develop problem behaviors if neglected. As with all large breeds, early socialization and training are vital. They shed a lot and need plenty of room, but few breeds are as sweetly lovable as Leos. Having a Leonberger is, of course, there's always a few downsides to every breed, and if you don't like hair in your house, then a Leonberger may not be for you because they are a double-coated, long-haired breed, so they do shed. For a pet, I would say a good weekly brushing, particularly behind the ears, because that's the most typical spots where you would have mats would be behind the ears and the feathering in the, in the back of the legs. So I would say a weekly brushing, probably more often than that when it's shedding season. I recommend trimming the, the hair on the bottom of the feet. It does help to stop bringing in so much dirt and leaves and so on. So in general, I don't think they're a, a high maintenance breed. Energy level is, it varies from dog to dog, but I would call them a medium energy breed. Typically, I would say that they do need some exercise. The important thing is to have a fenced yard and to be able to let the dog off leash for off leash time. I think every dog needs off leash time. So I think they can be a successful city dweller if their exercise needs are met. Let's summarize the Leonberger. The Leonberger, named for the German town of Leonberg, is unofficially classified as a giant breed dog. They're affectionately known as Leos, and a breed nickname is the Gentle Lion. Leos are bright, patient, loving, and family-oriented. They're rambunctious as pups and surprisingly athletic as adults. They enjoy long walks and activities like swimming and cart pulling. The thick double coat requires lots of brushing. Leos are heavy shedders, especially in the spring and the fall. 